What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video my friend and I headed off to Albert Falls for the weekend. We managed to get not too many bass but we got some quality ones. Our game plan was to try and find a new area where not many people have fished because the social media has been destroying the dam wall at Albert Falls at the moment. We mainly decided to fish Kailami Bay just on the corner because we noticed there was warmer water there. I'll show you in the end of the video all the tackle that I used, but enjoy. <laughs> Get the net, get the net, get the net. Move it up, move it up, move it up. Watch the mirror, you don't get caught in it. There it is. Oh my oh. boy! <laughs> you was a fat one, eh? Uh huh. I'd say about 1.5. Like a fit, right? Yeah, sure. On the new rod, 3,000 Rand for a one and a half kilo fish. Mm. 2.01. Two kilos. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. No, don't put it under water. No, I won't. Wait, hold it up. This is a lack of thing to take pictures. Hey, let's go. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, rise. Hey. <laughs> Like my cross was Oh, I go on, I go on the last one. Are you on? Go for it, go for it. It took it off the top. You got it? Yeah. I don't think it's too big. No, it's not too big. Top water, bro. Top water? Yeah. Best fish of the day. That's how we Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's small. You can pick it up right on. Yeah. <laughs> that was so weird. I was trying to like focus on you, and I left the jerk bait just sitting on the surface. And I just heard, Ch -ch -ch, and I just felt the tug on my line. I thought it was bigger than that. That explosion was enough.
Okay, this one is 800 grams. And you know where I hooked that one? Right in the middle here. <laughs> like, not even by structure. Oh, f no, five now. That was the strangest fish ever. Yeah, he was swimming towards you. No, but I felt my lure still going in the water. Probably only hit you right up there. Well, maybe. I thought I would share a few tips now towards the end of the video of what we found were working. I'm not professional, so I can only tell you what I was doing. Many other people say that's not a very good idea to throw at that time of day and all that. But I mean, I was catching fish and I was happy with what I was doing. So yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, the first lure that we started throwing was this little jerk minnow made by Sensation. It's like an olive green colour. I really like this colour for fishing anywhere. You can fish any colour water and catch fish with this. So the colour of these don't really matter. But yeah, I was throwing it in usually shallower water. So like the one, one metre to two metre water. And I noticed that we were getting quite a few bites on it. Lots of the fish, I didn't know why they wouldn't stick. And then I started using a medium weight rod. I noticed that I land a lot more fish when I'm fishing the smaller jerk baits on a medium setup because the rod absorbs most of the shock when the fish hits so it doesn't like pull instantly and you can still set the hook nicely or with treble hooks you don't really have to set the hook but yeah the medium weight is what I like to use towards the end of the trip I started using the striking jerk bait it's got like a gold and white underneath with a blue on top and a black dot and a yellow line down the side. I've noticed in Albert Falls, this color tends to work quite well. Even with the smaller jerk baits, like just to find fish, that color works exceptionally well. And on this, with this jerk bait, I was using a Shimano SLX, medium heavy, with 15 pound braid. And I chose this setup because I was looking for bigger fish. So I knew if I had this rod, 
I'd be able to land any fish and the fish would stick. So yeah, I prefer throwing the bigger jerk baits and all of that on tackle that I can trust because usually you get bigger bites.